I'm going to be the local plumber that has the low price plumber and I'm going to be the community plumber that takes care of. No, you're, you're going to lose every time, every, right. every single time you, you are, you're going to fail. Right. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And we got a good episode for you here where we're going to discuss, well, I'm just making a statement. Okay. You are not in the plumbing business. Uh, what? What? <laughs> All right. That's a concept there. I know, but you're doing- Don't turn I, off I, I, right I, now. Don't, okay. don't turn off the but podcast. But you're not in the plumbing business. Okay. We're going to tell you really what the business that you're in. Okay. And of course you're doing plumbing, but you're not in the plumbing business business and we'll get to that okay right after i thank our sponsor uh -huh. all right Who is service titan gotta love our service yeah, titan. i love service titan all right service titan is the world's leading all-in-one field management software for residential service plumbing companies service titan automates your company's day-to-day -day scheduling dispatching and billing systems to improve efficiency and profitability i like that word profitability wow. okay all right. Plumbing companies that use Service Titan see a 15% revenue increase on average year over year. We've seen it time and time again with Absolutely. our clients. Okay. Don't believe the hype. All right. Just ask the Potty Talk listeners who have made the move to Service Titan. Not only have they saved thousands by eliminating time spent on profit sucking, <laughs> don't like that profit sucking <laughs> manual task, but they now have scalable processes very important scalable processes in place to help grow their business for years to come to check them out and to take advantage of special discounts for potty talk listeners go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash service titan that's the million dollar plumber.com forward slash service titan plumb like a champion uh -huh. today mm -hmm. all right so also, and uh, just to say um our sponsors can be found out on our website which is the million dollar plumber.com um, and then go to the power tools page yes and you can see all the different um all the different sponsors of, of potty talk and, and services that that we like to recommend like to recommend mm -hmm. all right okay. cool service titan we were with them from the very from back in the day back in the day we actually worked directly with the owners we did. all right we mm -hmm. they beta tested with our plumbing company mm -hmm. So they made the mistakes on our plumbing company. <laughs> no, they, it was we, like, we put them through the ringer you you put them through the ringer oh, all right know. the lovely laura <laughs> has she's lovely <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason why i'm the million dollar plumber and beyond it's because of, of the lovely laura all right so okay. let's let's get to our topic right. here that you are not in the plumbing business mm -hmm. so what 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 business are you in well in saying this we're talking this is a concept to get across especially when i'm, I'm coming out of the truck so if you're if you're a guy that's coming you know started your plumbing business and you're still in the truck you're coming out of the truck mm -hmm. okay um this concept that i'm not in the plumbing business. Yeah, I'm doing plumbing. Okay. And we, we get, we got to do good quality plumbing and that kind of thing, but we're switching our thinking to really what we're doing. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What drives, the stuff. what drives the business. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the, the first company that, that you are, mm -hmm. okay. For your, for your business, you're a marketing company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Don't you just love that? You're a marketing company. <laughs> Look, we have, we have two assets, two major assets. And our first asset are, is, okay, mm -hmm. customers. Mm -hmm. All right, how we get customers? Mm -hmm. All right, we got to make them aware of us. Mm -hmm. And we got to make our phone ring, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're a marketing company. We, you've got, you've got, got to learn the marketing side of things. You know, every okay. business, it doesn't matter if it's plumbing, right. doesn't matter if it's a retail shoe store, it, it doesn't matter. Every business is a marketing company. Is a marketing company. Because you have to get the customers in. So you have to look at it differently. And again, we, I know that most of our listeners are, you know, maybe just one truck or just have recently started or just have a handful of trucks, right? And that's a hard concept to get across that you're not, a, you're really not a plumbing business. You are a marketing company. You, you've got to make the phone ring. You've got to get the customers in. All right. So we got to, you got to learn um, to, to, you know, how, how do I make customers aware of, aware of me? Mm -hmm. And, you know, how do I attract them? To us, okay. How do I stand out, right, amongst my competitors? Right. What What are the different uh, marketing avenues? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you don't have to be an expert. No. Uh, don't hear hear me on this. You mm -hmm. believe me. Hear me on this. <laughs> okay. You don't have to be an expert. Mm -hmm. Now, over the years, just like with anything, you become you become an expert just because you've made all the mistakes and you've gone through it and you've seen you've seen every song and dance. You've learned all the lingo. <laughs> You're right. Mm -hmm. And so you, you a lot of times can become, you know, even no more than some of the new guys that are getting into it, you know, into the marketing or whatever. But it's 
You, you've got you've got to be aware of it. Okay, you've got to be focused on it because really that's what your business is. Okay, yes. it's it's a marketing business. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what drives makes it possible for you to be able to do do the plumbing. Mm-hmm. You know, a great example is look, look at how look at what sports. You know, okay. you, you go to a game, any game, any kind of game, any game, anything. Professional football. Professional, or right? Mm-hmm. Football, baseball, hockey, soccer. But there's more going on than just the game. Mm-hmm. It's almost at times you can think, oh yeah, they're playing a game. Mm-hmm. But, you know, before you even get into the stadium, there's, there's entertainment and stuff going on. There's lights flashing. There's things that are pulling you and, and getting you ready for the, the sale, you know, <laughs> then, then it's just, you know, once you get inside, there's all this stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. It, it, so it's really not so much of, is it about the game or is it about the, the show? The show, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, the same goes for your, your plumbing your plumbing mm-hmm. company. Okay. So your yep. marketing company. And keep in mind too, um, think about it. You see um, commercials for like Coca-Cola or some um, Nike or whatever. And those are big brand names. Everybody knows who they are, but they still advertise, right? They're, they're still on TV. They still have billboards. They're still are, um, you know, um, on like Olympics or, or whatever. They still advertise. You would think, right. well, why do they need to advertise? Because everybody knows mm-hmm. who's Co- who Coca-Cola is or Nike or whatever. They're a marketing company. Right. Everyone knows, okay, they either like their product and already do, and we know they have good quality and this and that, but it's staying in front of the customers, right. the top of mind, because mm-hmm. your customer has so many choices, okay? Mm-hmm. So before you even get a chance to plumb, you know, for them, your customer has to be aware of you. Right. Okay. And have a, an emotion about you, a feeling about you, mm-hmm. okay? And then know and have you show up where the customer is looking for you. Right. Okay? And I know we've done other episodes too on on how to... Uh, market and how to be found. So yeah, but, there's past potty talk episodes on that. We're kind of trying, we're talking, this, these are kind of mindset things. Right. Okay. To get you past, you know, the guys that we work with that we see are still holding on to what it's about plumbing are they basically have a plumbing job. Still. Right. Or I'm, I'm, right. I'm going to be the local plumber that has the low price plumber and I'm going to be the community plumber that takes care of. No, you're, you're going to lose every time, every, right. every single time you, you are, you're going to fail. Right. So okay. it, that's not sustainable. You have to, to market your company in a way that attracts Mrs. Jones. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're a marketing company. So get that, get that through your, your thick skull. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Number two. All right. You're a recruiting company. Okay. We're going after you. You have two assets. Your company has two assets, customers mm-hmm. and your plumbers. Okay. Your customers, they're the ones who give you the money. Mm-hmm. All right. Your plumbers are the ones that go make the money. Mm-hmm. Okay. So those are your two company assets. So you, you got to be focused on both those. We are, we're a marketing company and we're a recruiting company. All right. You're constantly recruiting. We spoke on constantly. this before. You're, you're constantly recruiting, recruit, recruit, recruit. You never stop. You never stop. I got a great team. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. They'll be gone you're, tomorrow. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, all the, all my all, best, it's my best buddy. And, and a guy I worked with at the last place and he's going to be with me forever. No, no, he's not. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. Okay. Trust us on this. All right. You, and you may be talking back to us. Like, uh, you yeah. don't know. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. Okay. And not just from our plumbing business. I mean, from years of doing million dollar plumber and working with clients and stuff, we, we've had clients who now have hundreds, said- Now hundreds, Yeah, we have clients that will say, I'm, and argue, I don't need to recruit I don't, because this yeah. team is great. And a month later, they call us and like, you were right. Right. You were right. Well, well and then we go through, well, right now I'm, I'm, right now I'm slow, so I don't need to bring it to him. Right. It's the best time. That's, you still, it's, it's part of your culture. You're constantly looking- to, for a better team. Yes. Okay. You're not marrying this. That's one of the biggest problems we get. It was like, we marry these guys. We're, we're more, we're more married to them than we are our wives. You know, it's like, I, oh, I can't, I can't let these guys go. I want you know, it's like, mm-hmm. they're, they're my buddies. They're, we're all, we're a team. We're in this together. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> you're not. All right. They're assets. The guys are just assets. Now you, now you be respectful, friendly. And take care of them. Take you care of them. Offer them great equipment, offer them great pay, offer them great benefits. All that, of course, of right. course, that's your responsibility as a business owner. Right. But. But they're assets. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're constantly looking to um, build better assets, to get better assets. Professional. This is professional plumbing, not hack plumbing. Okay. Professional plumbing. All professional teams work this way, even, even in the sports. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the things we'll hear, well, I don't, I don't want to rob guys for my, you know, my I, I know, I know the competitor, that kind of, yeah. Oh, that's right. And yeah, I don't want to take, I don't want to take one of his guys. No, you want, you want to take all, of you want to take his, you do. especially if he has a good guy, yeah. Our, the professional teams do that mm-hmm. all the time. They all, they all know each other and hang out. I mean, mm-hmm. not to hang out, 
but it's just, you know, they're in the, the network together and all that kind of stuff, but they want the better players from everybody else's teams. Of it, course. That's professional. Correct. Okay. And like I always say, if you are offering a better job, a better pay, better benefits, maybe hopefully not doing nights and weekends, if you have that and your competitor doesn't, and you're not offering a job to, to, you know, one of his, uh, one of his techni technicians, right? right. Then that's why, selfish. Yeah. Why part. are you being so selfish? Why are you so selfish? Let, and then let the technician decide. Okay. Well, again, why, why are you not allowing them to better their family correct. situation? Right. If you're offering a better working environment, better equipment, right. whatever it is, offer it and then let the technician decide. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, <laughs> so you are a recruiting company. And don't ever stop. Yeah, right. Anytime someone calls, are you accepting applications? The answer is yes, yes we are. Yes, we are. Like every you, time you want to build a culture where everybody, you know, your whole, your whole company knows that we're always hiring, we're always looking, you're always, always looking for, for good guys. And yes. you think, well, that make it sound like they're, they're going to lose their jobs. They're getting rid. No, in fact, that's security. That's, that's growth. Right. Okay. You're sending a different message, but you want everyone thinking that way, mm -hmm. you know, and we, and we've, we've, we, of course we go over this in the success Academy and we've other episodes here. Mm -hmm. We, we talk about what you can do for recruiting and attracting and, you know, and for, for build that culture, right. but you are a recruiting company mm -hmm. that happens to do plumbing. <laughs> okay. And well. just like I would say, again, most businesses are a recruiting company as well. Right. And Taco oh. Bell, your favorite Taco right. Bell needs to constantly be recruiting. They're ne Taco Bell is never going to say, you know, this, this crew that we've got right here, it's perfect. I, right. We don't need to hire anybody else. They don't do that. Of course right. not. And as you're the CEO, the chief executive officer of your plumbing business, mm -hmm. okay? You're not a plumber, you're a CEO. And yes. CEOs have really just a couple, a couple major jobs. Mm -hmm. Basically, they're, they're the main cheerleader for the company, mm -hmm. okay? So they're, they're marketing, you know, this is great. We Our product's the best. We're great. We got great stuff great and all service, that. Great service. And then we're the saying, things. hey, we're a great place to work. Okay. You, you know, we, we, we do this and that, and we, we love our people and we're a team here and all that. So they're constantly recruiting, they're constantly marketing and they're constantly recruiting. That's correct. Okay. And that's what you need to be doing as well. Mm -hmm. And that's how you need to be thinking. Again, you don't have to be an expert at it. You just need to be doing it. Right. Okay. You can hire the experts, mm -hmm. you know, in, in marketing. Mm -hmm. All right. You hire the experts in recruiting. Right. You know, we have them as power tools. Mm -hmm. You can go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash power tools, or just go to the website and click on the power tools tabs mm -hmm. and you can see the different ones. They right. are the experts right. that we recommend. Right. And the ones that we recommend also specialize in plumbing or, or at least home services, right? right? So they know the industry. That's, that's key as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hey, I have another thing for you here. All right. Just for joining us. All right. It's my million dollar plumber blueprint in it. I lay out the exact specs you got to have in place to build a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. It's all laid out there for you, isn't it, baby? It is, honey. All right. Okay. <laughs> and and I get, I'm giving it away for free. No. Okay. Hey, I want, I want you to have it. Really. These are the things you got to have in place. All right. To be able to build, again, that successful plumbing business, mm -hmm. right? You, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. So why are you trying to build your business without a blueprint falling through? You know, you can get it figured out over some years, a lot of waste of time and money. I've already wasted the time and money <laughs> to figure all it out. All for you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and it's all laid out there for you in the blueprint. All right. So go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free. Mm -hmm. All right. To grab your free blueprint today. Yes. And just as a reminder, everybody go out and follow us on all the social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of it. Um, our our handle is the Million Dollar Plumber. Um, yeah, we have great conversations out there and um, all kinds of good little nuggets bonuses. of gold, good mm -hmm. information. Yes. Okay, it's all out there for you. All <coughs> right. Excuse me. You're looking to level mm -hmm. up. Okay, so there we go. All right, you're not in the plumbing business. Right. All right, I have one more for you here. Mm -hmm. But first, you're a marketing. Mm -hmm. All right, you're a marketing company. Yep. All right, you're a recruiting company. What else? Finally. You're an events company. Events. Okay. You're putting on a show. <laughs> okay. You know, like creating have, an experience. Right. It's creating like, you know, like these wedding event companies and that kind of <laughs> stuff. I mean, you're an events company. Okay. Because you're not just doing plumbing. All right. You're selling an experience. Okay. And that, well, that's what your customers buying is an experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. When, if you're just going to do plumbing and it's just doing the fixes, you've now just become a commodity and it's getting, and look, no one wants to spend any money on plumbing. So it's cheap. And then how cheap can you go? Cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. If that's, if that's what you are, okay, um, that's a race to the bottom and it's a crash, okay? And it's a race you do not want to win. It's a race you do not want to win, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a whole nother game, 
all right, when you're selling in an experience, mm -hmm. okay, and understand what that is. Mm -hmm. So you, you're an events company. So I'm not just looking at what it takes to, you know, the best quality to, I don't know, to what, what toilets or, you know, and how to repair the toilets and the best way to run lines and the best, you know, crimping system or what's the best digging system or lining or what it's okay. That's all great stuff. That's on the side here. Mm -hmm. All right. What's more important, how are we engaging with Mrs. Jones? Mm -hmm. What is she experiencing at every step? Starting with the phone call. Right. Starting with, well, actually back it up. Starting with your online presence right. for one, right? Do you have a, a website um, and a Facebook page or something that um, is engaging and that is um, up to date, right? If you haven't updated your website for a couple of years, You're a, it's time, right. it's time. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and just, and how mm -hmm. are you gauging there? Are you are, are gauging in a plumbing manner or you're gauging in a lifestyle manner? Right. Don't be, you know? do not, do not, do not be posting pictures out on uh, Facebook of big clogs that you've pulled out of somebody's toilet. Uh, Nobody, yeah. Mrs. Jones does not want to see it. You may like it and plumbers be like, oh, that's a cool one or whatever. Right. Mrs. Jones doesn't want to see it. She wants to know what's my experience going to be like. Don't, and also don't be showing pictures of a yard all torn up, right? right. Big holes in the yard and you've got a, you know, a, um, not a trencher. What do you call it? Um, um, what's Back the, over thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the yard. Don't show pictures like that because Mrs. Jones is like, Oh my gosh, that's what my yard's going to look that's like. An example. We, we think we're showing what, what we're capable of doing no. and look at how hard the work is and all what's involved. You know, even, even a thing of even something that's pretty, like, you know, a, a tankless water heater and all the line, you know, it's all I copper and the lines care. are all 90 <laughs> and, you know, everything looks beautiful. And we know that it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. The customer doesn't, doesn't care. That doesn't give any kind of experience. No, no. Okay? Show it's, pictures it's, it's, of, you know, a happy family after bath time and the kids are wrapped up in a towel and all, right. Show things like that. Show their, show your petting their dog right. on the side or whatever. Mm -hmm. And a dog being all happy. That's, right. that's a better, <laughs> that sells you better yes. than showing, you know, the, the work that you're doing. Right. So, cause it's all the experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're an events company. You want to be thinking about uh, along every, every track of the way, even walking up to the door, even parking mm -hmm. the truck is an event. Yes. How, how does that make my customer feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. You know, we could, um, you know, we didn't park in the driveways. Um, you know, we didn't walk through the yard. You'd be right. seen walking up the, you know, the sidewalk. Flicking a cigarette. Right. Flicking, <laughs> right. Um, the, what, what happens at the door, the first greeting and even what you hand to them and what makes them feel comfortable. Uh, well, well, stepping inside, the, how do you step inside the, the house? Okay. Are you putting on your shoe covers? How do you go through the process? Everything's an event, even up to them you know, paying you is an event. Okay. And you don't want it to be just a, um, just a commodity a transaction, a transaction, right. right mm -hmm. Where it's just, because then th there's no value to that. And she's not going to talk about it. Right. Right. To, to other Mrs. Jones in her neighborhood. If she has a really great experience, she will tell people, yeah, I had to have a plumber come out right. because my water heater or whatever, but boy, they really took care of us. They got out really quick. He put shoe covers on, which I loved, you know, whatever. That's what they're going to talk about. Not, gee, you should have seen the big hairball that he pulled out of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and, the, and the great thing today, it's never been easier to uh, stand heads above yes. of others. If you look at yourself as an event, that mm -hmm. this is an event that you're going to yes. give an experience. Great experience. Because the idea of customer service really is dead mm -hmm. um, today. Yes. It's easy, easy to right. stand out. And again, if, right. if you're... If you're the plumber that's on the phone, plumbing business owner that's on the phone, you need to get plumb line for one or get a CSR, whatever, or your wife, somebody else right. other than you yeah. on the phone. Right. That needs to happen um, because that's the experience that's as well. That's an experience right there. Right when, right when they answer the phone, how are they being treated? How are they being talked to? Um, if it's you in a crawl space under a sink and you're, you're judging the call, right? You hear it, it's a sewage ejector and it's four o'clock on the other side of town. You're like, right. nope, not doing it. I'm out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And know. the customer hears that in their, in your voice. You know, so. It, it, it's so, um, you, you can see it, you know, we, we, we just got, we had a cheaty the other day. We just got Chick-fil-A. I was, I was just thinking yeah. of an experience. And I love Chick-fil-A. doesn't matter what Chick-fil-A you're going, you tell that the, <laughs> the, the, the company knows that they're not selling chicken sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, they're selling chicken sandwiches, but that's not about pushing chicken sandwiches. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a freaking event, even standing in a long line and waiting in a drive through line, yeah. even, even that's an event, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's always the same, you know, and what, what they, it doesn't matter where you and go, whatever state and it's the in. same kids, the same millennials or whatever they're called yeah, today. It's the, it's the same people. <laughs> Why does Chick-fil-A have it down? But McDonald's, it's like, 
you, you, you swear they're spitting in your food, you know, and it's, <laughs> and there's just no, nothing there. Mm. It's because of the company. Yes. All right. It's because they've created, they, they realize they're not one, one is selling hamburgers. Mm -hmm. All right. And the other is providing an experience. Right. And so you much know? so our daughter works her senior year, junior year, I forget, yeah. at a Chick-fil-A. Chick um, and so much so it was drilled in her that she had to say, my pleasure. My pleasure. When someone said, thank you, her response was my pleasure. So much so that our daughter around the house, if I would thank her for something, she would say, my, my pleasure. pleasure. And she'd go, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> it took her a while. She left the job, took her a while to get over that. But that's, it's drilled into their heads because they know, Chick-fil-A knows they want to create an experience for their customer. Right. And, and it works. It does. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it'll work for you too. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Okay. All right. Great experience. What are you? All right. You're a marketing company. Mm -hmm. You're a recruiting company. And you're an events company. Mm -hmm. Get that through our, our heads here mm -hmm. and uh, just see how, uh, see how your company changes yeah. for the way better. Way better. So there we go. Okay. Hey, if you're looking to learn more about these things or just looking for, you know, you're starting out, you're our guy in a truck that's just, you know, how, how, do I, how do I build this plumbing business? Or even if you're just, you know, you've already been there now, you're a couple of years, but you're trying to get to, you know, to the next level. Mm -hmm. Hey, we want to offer you a free strategy call, a free 30 minute strategy call. And we'll help get you pointed in the right direction. Again, it's free. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call mm -hmm. and schedule your free strategy call today. Today. All right. Hey. There we go. Hey, good stuff here. All right. Mm -hmm. These are concepts. These are simple concepts that, that if we just, if you just can wrap your mind around them and then own them, it'll change your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it's not necessarily easy because we do get, you know, we, we, we're proud to be plumbers. I was, I was proud to be a plumber mm -hmm. and I was all about the plumbing, mm -hmm. but it just, I had to, to take a company to that next level. I had to, I had it's to grasp business. that I wasn't about, mm -hmm. it wasn't about plumbing. Mm -hmm. All right. We were into marketing and recruiting and we got to give them a show. That's right. <laughs> right? All right. Once we did that, mm -hmm. you know, things started taking off as well. Okay. So there we go. Hey, before we let you go, it is about time to let you go. I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.